Hi everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a high quality render uh, so you can output it and open it up possibly in Photoshop and do some post work. But, uh, you know, uh, Maya defaults on uh, lower quality and, um, you know, eventually when you're finished with your modeling you're going to want to render the, your, your scene uh, very high quality and in a good resolution and we're going to go through that today. Alright, so let's get started. I have the scene right here and I want to uh, render this. Okay, so let's go up to the render settings right here. <clears throat> I'll move this aside and we're going to stay into the common area here. I've already set up Mental Ray. You can, if uh, you want to learn how to set up Mental Ray, you can look at my previous tutorial. But Mental Ray is set up. Final Gather is on. The common tab, I'm just going to come down here. And you can see uh, my defaults on a preset called HD 540, which is 960 pixels by 540 uh, height, and only 72 resolution. So uh, our size units, we're more used to using inches. So let's do that. Go with inches. And depending on what your printer can print, uh, we have a printer here that prints 17 width by 11 height. Type that in and we'll raise up the resolution. But before I do, I don't want to have to wait for this to render to see if I like it because when you change your um, your inches, it may change the aspect ratio. It may change the composition a little bit. So what am I going to do? A little trick of mine. I'm going to lower this resolution to 20 just to see. And I'm going to render that. And we're going to take a look and I can see maybe I want to get a little closer. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then render again. Okay, that looks good. Now because I'm finished and I can see that I like that composition, maybe I'll roll in just a little bit more. I can now raise it up to 300 resolution. Now I'm just going to cancel this just so you can see. I'm not going to wait for this, but you can see this is going to be very high resolution. And where would we take it from here? Let's just say that this did finish, and this is way too large. Let me just uh, shrink that a bit. Okay. When you are finished rendering, we would come up to File. Uh, the file in the renderer, not the file underneath Maya. I'm going to come over here to File, Save Image. And we have some choices when you save an image. We'd save it to the desktop or you know, wherever you want to save it. Uh, we'd name it. And then for file types, we drop it down. Now, JPEG could be a, a decent choice, but even better than that, if you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see PSD, so a Photoshop file. So we can save as Photoshop files, which is a great thing and then we'd press save. Okay, why don't you give it a try uh, and good luck.